Hi there everyone, welcome to Divine Art. Today I'm gonna do another seascape painting with acrylics, but this one is quite different than my previous seascapes. Actually it's gonna be surrounded by the rocks and it's a top view of the sea so there will be no sky here. I've got 10 by 14 inches canvas starting with blocking the basic colors at right place there are basic supplies used in this painting every detail will be mentioned in description box as well if you are new to the channel please subscribe and stay connected for more videos i'm using indigo paint with a little touch of turquoise blue And for the rocks, it's a mixture of burnt umber and yellow ochre. In real time, it took two days to complete this painting. I couldn't upload the real time painting as it would be quite lengthy. So I shrink it to a reasonable length of almost half an hour. I really like how it looks so beautiful just at the base coat. Seems like an interesting abstract to me. And which base will stick to the plan of creating a seascape. The base coat is really necessary for such paintings as it covers all the white canvas grains and make the surface smoother for further details. I had some leftover paint from my last painting so I mixed them and giving the texture to the rocks. It was a mixture of burnt umber, yellow ochre and cadmium red hue. This step is really optional. I'm doing it just for a nice texture on the rocks.
have started painting white on the water. This is not straight from the tube. It is titanium white with a touch of burnt umber. As I always suggest, save the white paint for giving the final highlights. I'm creating waves somewhere dense and somewhere very thin. Remember how we create branches of a tree? The same way we have to create these waves. Some waves were strong enough to create a way inside the rocks. Okay, so the depth of water is different at different areas, so the color will change to lighter and darker.
With equal ratios of Mars Black and Burnt Umber, I have created a mixture and will make some straight marks on the rocks. This will represent the deeper areas on the rocks.
For further detailing of the rocks, I made two different mixture with white and burnt umber. One is lighter and other is darker. Basically what I am doing here is filling all the block made by the darker color. I will explain a block to make it easier. At the center it is lightest and moving forward it is darker. That's how I am painting each block. Remember that we have to create random shapes of rock. Don't make perfect square or perfect circle for more natural look. Working on each rock is very easy once you know how to do it. However, it is tiring due to the time it takes. So take a break before doing this.
The painting looks complete and I'm adding some details wherever required. I would be very glad if I inspire someone to pick the paintbrush today. I would love to know your feedback about this painting. Give a thumbs up if you like the tutorial. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have an awesome painting and wish you all a happy festive month of December. Bye-bye.